Can Allstate Plumbing jitter your line? Why, yes. And that's refreshing. Just so you know, last time we did this, it was a little bit convoluted. So this time, we're gonna go back through the steps on how to start up the jetter and all the steps involved. If, if I were to have the jetter, I'd need to make sure there's enough water in it. Yep. I would connect the battery. Uh, if I were to fill it, I would fill it through this black hose. Connect the battery. If uh, you don't have enough water, this light will tell you that it does not have enough water. And then, and then once I have enough water, then you can turn it on. Then I can turn it on. The pressure's up. I got to make sure this thing's uh, the the pointer is is from drain to on. Yep. And then I would put in the key. Once the battery light's gone, I can. Which button do I do? I just turn it. Turn it to start, okay. and then it runs. It swings back to run, and then we do. Okay, and then once I have it started and I've got it correctly in the hole with mm -hmm. my helper, whoever, yep. I can just hit this switch to turn it on, on. and that'll and it'll, it'll take care of run. Yeah. Yep. Okay, excellent. Let's <laughs> turn it on. Once we're done using it, we I'll gotta drain the, the system. We can't have water in I'll it. Fix it. <laughs> If you're on a two-story uh, building, small head. Small. Oh. Small. <laughs> only use this head. This one's only for main, main lines. Big four inch. If it's three inch, don't bother. Three inch, use this one. I don't really. Yeah. This is for three inch, right? Yeah. This is three inch.